so this is for my audio and video guys that are into like you know uh stereo systems uh headrest monitors and stuff like that what i'm working on now is a 2019 expedition max this is a very expensive very high-end ford it's probably the it's the most expensive expedition that they have normally you'll find these uh between 70 and 80 thousand dollars depending on you know what type of trim level and stuff it is this is the max so this is probably closer to 80 i think from from what i remember back in the day when they came out so this has got a headrest monitor and let me see if i can you can see the blue light right there on top and then it's got one over here as well what ends up happening is this monitor will work and that monitor on the passenger side won't work i know some of you are going to say something about the mirror effect camera but this is front facing selfie mode so i can talk to you guys and you guys can see my facial expressions and everything else uh these vox headrests voxx um, a lot of times whenever you're having connection issues or a monitor's not coming on, it's actually the connections in the headrest. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to get in here. A lot of them say you can actually go right underneath this area right here and gain access to the plugs. In this particular system, it's not that easy to do it. What I ended up finding is under the driver's seat, there was a bad connection going from the driver headrest, which then transfers the video over to the passenger side. So if you got a kid here watching TV and then another kid on the other side, They've got to look across all the time when this monitor goes out. So this monitor, it will power up. You'll see a little red light turn on, but no video will display. The screen won't display anything. And what, you end up, what ends up happening is if you actually track the wiring, if there's no loose connection in the headrest, you track the wiring down. And then across the center console here, there's a connector in the center of the center console. And then go underneath the driver's seat there's a connector that looks like here's the new harness that i'm actually going to be installing right now this is your driver side connector that goes from the floor up to the driver side headrest and you may be thinking well why are you replacing the driver side connector if the passenger side is bad well that's because the driver side transfers the feed over to the passenger side so if there's anything wrong with a connector that's under the driver's seat that's transferring across the harness has to be replaced and what i found under the seat is this connection here these this purple and black connection underneath the seat there's a faulty connection at this purple connector and i could wiggle it and stuff and the video would come back and then it'd go away and come back and it'd go away and then when I looked on the opposite side of where it actually hooks into, it's actually labeled on this connector. This is right here. It, it actually says right on it, uh, one side is passenger side, one side is driver side. So right here, that says passenger side. So that's the side that will connect under the seat on that side. And this side here says driver side. That's the side that's going to connect under the driver's seat. But then there's also a center hub connection in the middle of the center console that runs underneath the carpet and everything and comes back through. Uh, let me see if I can just pull apart. Somebody's mask got all tangled in there. And then there's the center hub connection right here. So this connector literally runs from right here cross underneath the center console then you have the center connection that connects into a hub and then over here you have this connection that goes underneath the passenger seat that transfers up to the harness so where my connection problem was was right here on this side the side that's under the driver's seat in this connection well, it was poor i tried to fix it but you can't really appropriately if you if you don't have the tools to recrimp ends and everything on it and you know what you're doing you cannot uh fix these the right way they have to be replaced so i tried i attempted to fix it at least to get the customer by until vox sent me the new harness it doesn't matter it didn't work i don't have the right crimping tools i don't i don't have enough knowledge in actually remaking the ends on these things to make it work i don't have the equipment to do it i don't have the supplies to do it and vox does not want these things re repaired if, if you do find something faulty it's replaced so it took them uh, a couple weeks to get this harness to me and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually pull all this down pull the back of the seat apart unhook the harness from inside this head and uh let's see here 
and then this part right here will actually screw back into the connections at the monitor or just below the monitor run back down the seat and then it will connect in that long harness that transfers across and then it will go up and display the image on both headrests so that's going to be the tasking for today I'm not going to be able to get a lot of video on that today because there's a lot of loud music in the shop. You guys are just really, really blaring stuff today, so there's no way for me to comfortably block that out, plus still work and have to video at the same time. It's a very tedious job because you you have to worry about not ripping seats, not breaking connectors and stuff like that, possibly pulling out the entire center console just to get to the connector that goes into the hub underneath it. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the issue with, with this. And if you want to know the part number that's on the through harness that goes between both seats and again i do specify between between both seats the part number for that is a m j l 7 g no a m j l 7 j 1 4 g 2 4 8 double apple i'll flip this around so you can see it So that's the center harness part number. The part number for the driver's side that goes up to the monitor is... Okay, it doesn't look like there is a part number on this. Driver's side, driver's side. That's not a part number. Let me go look in the box and see if I have the part number in the box so I'm looking in my email right now where they had sent me emails back and forth PDF viewer sorry So it says item number, power coax, 103653. And then it says harness floor for the Ford Expedition, item number 103649. So if you can get a hold of Vox, those item numbers are tailored to them. You can definitely get... ordered I mean I'm trying to see if there's a different picture here that I missed yeah so that's all I have for right now on item numbers and that's directly from Vox audio uh, video and they work with the dealerships there's uh but I'm going to go ahead and break this harness down and install everything I just wanted to share with you guys it's either a connection in the head unit typically or it's a connection under the seats kids they, they kick the connectors under the seats we push stuff under the seats all the time part of the reason why our heated and our heated and cooled seats burn up is we put stuff under the seats and it blocks the venting system um or the the actual filter area to pull air and stuff through and it burns out our ted units under their thermal electric device uh under the seats but anyway i just wanted to share this with you guys real quick and give you something uh on this and then maybe i'll have some like pictures along the way because of all the noise in the shop right now so i can share something with you guys but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get to knock this out break the seat down pull the harness and stuff out of this and let's roll i'll have a i'll have a beef well i'll try to do it before right now maybe uh but definitely i'll have a before and after on it working and not working and then with everything installed so thank you guys see that side right there should have turned on already and it hasn't turned on if you look over there that side's not doing anything doesn't turn on there's a power button all the way in the back over here it's not doing anything so that one 
it works but it, if that one comes on this should be coming on unless it's manually turned off when it's not it won't even power up so we're gonna get that working now and uh you know what i think that is uh the reason that's not not, not powering up is because i took the connector off underneath the seat because i'm getting ready to do everything so anyway this is what it would look like that would turn on and this would just have red lights right here because it would have power but it wouldn't have any of the video feed from this head unit here so this would be my thumbnail Thanks, guys.